Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial video. This is kind of a bit of a show and tell at this point. Uh, for anyone who's been curious about how the debut went for the Dreamcatcher, it went really awesome. Uh, the VOD is still on Twitch, but I might just upload it to YouTube eventually. So if you're curious about that, uh, you can check out the VOD right now. It will disappear after two weeks though. So but it's possible that I might just edit it up a little bit and put it on YouTube eventually. But basically this is one of my new VTuber models and very appropriate to considering the name Dream Trove. It's been based off, you know, creatures and nightmares and dreams alike, dream creatures and, you know, a dream catcher has been my logo for very for a very long time. But anyway, I won't waffle on about that. We're going to be just touching on particularly one topic which is to allow your character to speak using the natural eye glow of your character. So if you have one of these characters that doesn't have a mouth you can use your eyes instead to create the sense that your character's eyes are glowing every time they're speaking. So I figured that this might be a really cool one to just touch on and maybe you might find it interesting and it might be appropriate for a certain kind of character of yours. Or hell, you know, you could do it as like an accessory or something, like maybe you have a special sort of glowing chest or something with your character speaking and it just like, I don't know, pulses every time you speak. It's a really cool concept, I think, and it could definitely be played around with. So, um, at the minute, just to kind of touch on it all, I only have the current active parameter here, which is mouth open. You don't need anything else unless, I don't know, maybe if you're, you know, on neutral to happy state, maybe you can change the color of the glow or something like that. That would be probably when you would use the mouth form parameter here, uh, just to vary it up a bit if you wanted to. Uh, but in my case, I kept it simple. So if we were to zoom in. It needs a little bit more work actually in terms of it looking noticeable, like uh, particularly this eye here, it, if I was to open the mouth you can see that it actually glows um, a little bit brighter than normal. That, that is the simple parameter really, there's not really much else for me to say about it. Basically um, if I was to really just go into the files here, just have two base eye colors. So I have the neutral state, which is the one you're seeing right here. And we have the highest glowing state, which is this one here. As my character is effectively opening their mouth to speak, in this case, the eye is glowing to its maximum glow. All you have to do is take this, uh, this glowing part of the eye base here, create two keyforms. And make sure that the closed mouth state here is at zero opacity. So it's just a simple case of then going to this far right keyform here and making sure that it's 100%. So you could probably see the values here kind of changing. Um, so when we go down here, it is zero. And if we go up here, it is 100% because we want to see it. That is as simple as that, really. It's um, quite easy, especially if you're using YouTube Studio too. Um, I could actually hop into this just to show you how I've set up my my character for speaking. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so we've loaded up the Dreamcatcher in YouTube Studio. I'm going to show you how I set it up for the mouth to work in the way you're seeing it right now. As you can see, the way that my character is speaking is on the basis of the sound that's coming from my microphone and not from the actual motion of my mouth. And that's pretty cool. It's called audio based lip sync. And I would actually recommend that for this kind of character, probably best to use audio based lip sync over trying to use actual mouth motion, just because it'll be far more reliable that way. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, if you do find yourself without the menu on the side, just double click and you've got all of the little menus. Just go on the cog and highlight this one here with, it looks like a person with a cog next to the head. Uh, just highlight that and then just scroll down to where you can find the mouth open, which is here. So as you can see, we have a input called voice volume plus mouth open. I tend to use this more often with my other characters that has quite obvious mouth movement going on with it. You could get away with not using that if you're using this kind of character with glowing uh, features. 
but it really depends like i say maybe you have a character that has glowing parts of the body but you do still technically have a face and you do technically still have a mouth to show so personally it's more of a preference thing i know that a lot of people seem to like using actual mouth motion uh, when it comes to using their vtuber models i personally really like using audio based lip sync because all it takes is to look down and all of a sudden you don't have any mouth movement going on simply because the camera just can't see your mouth. I currently have it set to voice volume plus mouth open. You can click on the input to select a particular tracking parameter. So you can even use just normal voice volume, like I say. Um, so you could use voice volume or you could use voice volume plus mouth open. And what that means is, is that the voice volume will be taken into account as well as the actual mouth movement. So yeah, like at this point I'm using the voice volume plus mouth open and it's doing a really good job at detecting my voice and being able to actually show the glow every time I speak. So it's just as simple as that really. I think the the current settings that you see right here, which is 2.1 and you got one and zero here on the left, I didn't touch any of that. That's, that's all default. I also have smoothing on zero because I want the movement to be snappier let's say um, I want to make sure that the glow happens as soon as I speak and there will be a degree of some fading out because naturally that's what VTuber models do um, there's always like a bit of a smooth transition to one to the other so bringing the smoothing down to zero means that it's more instant it will happen more quicker and yeah that's really all there is to it. I wanted to just touch on this because I don't think I've seen many VTuber models that kind of use this sort of feature. I think it's kind of cool. And I think I probably had a question like that quite a long time ago about how to make eyes glow while speaking and stuff. So yeah, it's. I hope that it's been useful. Thanks for checking out my video. And yeah, if you want to know more about what I do, I do Twitch streaming uh, every Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So feel free to check that out. Um, the link is down below if you want to check out my Twitch channel and yeah, I hope to catch you all later. Take care of yourselves and see you later. Bye-bye.